In this video, we want to review the manage common options for payables and procurement. This is the data that was created when we loaded the rapid implementation spreadsheet. So I'm going to go to setup and maintenance and I'm selecting financials from the setup and I want to go to payables. Under payables, I'm selecting the scope, which is Arachme business unit. So apply and go to task. And we'll search for Acme. So we want Acme USA business one, business unit one. So we can see that from the rapid implementation spreadsheet, quite a lot of the data has been pre-populated for us. So we can actually review the data. So we can see that the liabilities entered, prepayment, conversion rate, variance, gain, loss, discount taking, the miscellaneous account, realized gains and losses. And then for one-time payments, we haven't got um, liability and expense account. If we wanted to, we could enter those. Conversion rate type is corporate. And we can see that the accruals is accruals uh, receipt. And everything else is as is. But we can always go back and change some of those. So very quickly, if I just go to the rapid implementation spreadsheet and look at some of these accounts, 21010 for liability. So if I go to my natural accounts, and I want to scroll down to my 21010 accounts payable, we can see that this is liability accounts payable and that's come through here and then we have prepayment conversion rate variance and the same thing with all these other accounts once we specify them in the spreadsheet the program will generate automatically the account combinations for the setup so for example 3251 is the account for our business unit, sorry, for our legal entity, 3251, and that is my Acme Cupertino shares for my business unit. So you can see that for my business unit one, that is my default legal entity name, and it's picked up that value from here. So that's how it's done the allocation. And you can see the line of business. Let's go to the line of business. Uh, let's scroll to the right. Acme line of business, none. So that's the default line of business. And for my cost center, again, is selecting my default cost center. So if I, so that's my cost center. cost center segment which is three digits and it's picked it, picked it up here there's nothing for product and it's put in my intercompany account for the intercompany segment so that's how the common options for payables and procurement are generated from the rapid implementation spreadsheet Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.